Now in this next part of the question, we're asked to draw the sketch of y equals f to the minus 1 of x. Strictly, it's pronounced the inverse function of f of x. And what happens when you've got questions like this is that you should basically know that an inverse function is essentially a reflection of y equals f of x in the line y equals x, which is a diagonal line running through here, something like this. So if I was to put that uh, line in, let's just uh, mark it in something like that, okay? That's the line y equals x. Now if we were to mirror this graph of f of x in the line y equals x, we'll get the inverse function. Now, this point here, or any point on the line, remains invariant. Variant. So it's going to pass through that point. There's another invariant point here. This point A gets mirrored across over to here. All right, Mark that one in there. And this point B gets mirrored across to there. Now, our curve is going to pass through these points, so it's going to be something like this. Let's just sketch that in, or aim to sketch it in. Okay, we'll just come up through here, through there, through there, and out like that. And there's our graph. So what are these points here? We've got to mark these points in. Well, we know that B mirrors over to here. Now, if it's a half natural log of k units out that way, it's going to be half natural log of k units upwards. So the coordinates are going to be 0 and then a half natural log of k. As for a, this was 1 minus k units down here, and it's still going to be 1 minus k units in this direction. I mean, imagine if that was minus 3 units downwards, it would be minus 3 units that way. So it stays exactly the same. So this point here then has coordinates 0 and 1 minus k. All right. So there's our graph. Hope you've been able to follow that. What I'll do is I'll just remove the original graph, y equals f of x. And there you've got our y equals the inverse of f of x. Okay?